costume and it's so so simple all you need is a green mini slip dress so i have from graduation and i'm obsessed with it it's so cute and then you have to put your hair in a bun and since i have semi blonde hair already it kind of works but if you guys don't have wings this still fits because Tinkerbell's kind of her signature look is a green dress and a bun so i feel like it actually really works and i'm obsessed and i added this little wand just because i'm obsessed <sighs> So the next outfit is Regina George, if you guys haven't guessed, this is her iconic outfit in the mall. But yes, I'm wearing these pink stilettos, so I'm wearing a pink cardigan, a white t-shirt, a black skirt, and she actually does wear this shirt that says a little bit dramatic. You guys are probably going to plain white top and write a little bit dramatic, which is super, super easy. And her hair is parted to the side, like right here. She also has an R necklace, and I'm wearing a Victoria necklace because I feel like it's something she would do. That is the ugliest effing skirt I've ever seen. Okay guys, so this outfit's Sharpay's golf outfit, and I think it's super, super cute because it's so easy. So all you need is like her striped top, and you can probably find an outfit that's completely striped, but I thought this top fit it so perfectly, and you're actually gonna wear this top again because this top is amazing. And then I paired it with this really cute like white tennis slash golf skirt because, you know, it's actually super cute. And then I paired it with these like circular sunglasses, and she wears pink ones, but I feel like these fit too. And then I put my hair in two pigtails, and I had a crown, but I actually don't know where it is, but it would fit the outfit so much better. But also, she also has like a star necklace, and since I just wore my Victoria necklace because I feel like she would have her name on her neck, and I think she actually does. <laughs> Okay guys, so this outfit is Lola from Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen. I love this movie so much and I'm obsessed with this outfit. So when I went to New York City, I got this really cute I Love New York City top and she's wearing it. And then like a couple years ago, I got this mesh top from Garage. I decided to put it on for this outfit because she kind of has like a mesh top over it. And then black jeans and I have my black crochet pants on just because I don't have black jeans, I know kind of sad and then she also pairs it with some silver hoops and she also has like her little she has a soda can bottle cap necklace and you guys can easily create that and i'm obsessed with this outfit and i love it so much okay guys so this is the lizzie mcguire cartoon character outfit and i'm obsessed so basically it's so so easy all she wears is a pink top and dark wash jeans and orange flip-flops when they don't have orange flip-flops but i feel like this can be such an easy costume to do since i already have like blonde-ish hair i don't really need to change my hair color but if you guys want to do this costume it's so easy it's actually stuff that you're actually going to wear and if you want to go full more full out get the orange flip-flops and get that blonde wig Okay guys, for the next outfits, all you need is a little black mini slip dress. And these are kind of basic, but they're really cute for last minute Halloween costume ideas. Okay, the first one I have is a witch, and actually Kendall Jenner did it, so it still should be cute. And it's just my black mini slip dress that I got from Zara, and I wear this all the time. It's perfect to have a black mini dress. You know, everybody needs a black mini slip dress, that's all you need. And then I just have this witch hat, and that's it. I'm a witch. Okay guys, for this outfit, I'm a leopard. So I have these like leopard long gloves. I don't know, I already had these. And they're really cute and they kind of like have like pads like this. And they stick out my nails and I feel like if you get like really long nails, it looks super cute. Like, and then I'm wearing that black mink dress again. I have a little tail. And then I have like leopard ears up and you can probably do like a little collar. Me and her are matching. And who am I? That's not a secret, I'll never tell Okay guys, for the next outfit, I'm Serena Vanderwoodson from Gossip Girl. I love that show so, so much. And it is such an easy outfit to do. So first and foremost, I had this white blouse. And it's so simple and so easy. You can get this thrifted for like $3. And then I have this like tie. And preferably a black tie would be cute. This is the only one I had. And then I just have a black little skirt. You can also have a plaid skirt. It's like a little school outfit. And if you want to be Blair, you can just add a headband to it and have a brunette wig. But if you're ready for brunette, it's going to work perfectly. That's not a secret, I'll never tell you. Gossip. Okay guys, so this album is super super cute. I'm obsessed. So it's the girl Apple Dumplin from Strawberry Shortcake. I'm obsessed with Strawberry Shortcake. I even have their sweater. It's such an easy outfit. All you need is a white tank top, a green cardigan, red pants, and her hat. I don't have it in like two pigtails, but I wasn't like in the mood to do them right now. But it's so so cute. And I also paired it with this red bag and my green mini Melissa shoes because I feel like it really matches this outfit all together. And you look so cute, and I feel like a lot of people won't be doing this. Okay guys, so this look is Kat from 10 Things I Hate About You, her prom look. And I think it's so, so cute and so, so easy. I already had this blue dress from Homecoming, and then this like blue scarf. It's kind of like makeshift. And then I put my hair in a bun, and you could probably get that clip in extension. And then I put like a little white rose and some jewelry, and I'm obsessed. Okay guys, so for this outfit, I'm Audrey Hemper's character in Breakfast at Tiffany's and I'm obsessed. This costume is so, so easy. All you need is a bedazzled necklace, 
I just found in my closet. And then I have like gloves and her little stick thingy. You can get this like at any Halloween store. I got it on Amazon. And then I have her hair in her signature bun and her crown because she's that extra. And then I paired it with these sparkly pretty shoes. And yeah, I'm obsessed. This is such an easy costume to do. Literally it took me 10 minutes. It's a last minute costume idea. And this is a very iconic movie so everyone will know who you are. Okay guys, for this one, it's like kind of like one clean gone bad. I don't know how to explain it, but I saw this TikTok and it was super, super cute and I really wanted to recreate it, but it's so simple. All you need your black main dress, pairing it with some heels, and then adding some fake blood and make sure it's the brand that you don't have an allergic reaction to because Fresh Scab by Ben Nye is the best fake blood out there. It does not stain my skin. It literally, everything comes off. The Mehron one, the spray one, is literally staining my skin and it gives me an allergic reaction. And now my fingers are red. But, you know, I look like I might have killed somebody to get the crown. But, you know, that's the vibe we're going for. But, yeah. Okay, guys, this is Cruel Deville's outfit. So, it's super, super simple. So, I'm wearing this trench coat thing. She has a Dalmatian trench coat, but I personally don't have one. So, this one's, like, really, really similar. And she also has one like this, but, like, beige color. I don't know what it's called. And then she wears, like, a long black dress in it. Of course, with her, like cigarette thingy so i have this one and then with her famous red eyeshadow look and her red lips probably go full out and get a wig and dye your hair black and white and also she has red heels but i personally don't have red heels i'm wearing my like ones but they're black and white as you go curl to bill okay guys so this is a little masquerade outfit i know it's so so boring and so so basic but i'm kind of running out of ideas and this is super simple like in all the movies all the 2000s movies they all come as masquerade characters it's like a very easy costume and still pretty cute just a little bit annoying holding it you look really pretty in it so yeah Okay guys, so now I am Dolphine from Scooby-Doo. Okay guys, this is such an easy costume. All you need is a purple and white pieces and a green scarf. I had a green scarf, but I have no idea where it is. And I had the perfect purple shirt, but I don't know where that is either. And I don't know why, but I'm losing a lot of stuff. I have this perfect purple headband, but I think any two purple pieces and purple and green pieces would look good. And I think Delphine is such a cute character. And I love her so much. I love her personality. And Delphine and Velma, the movie, chef's kiss. So yeah. Okay, guys, that was the end of the video. Love you guys so much and bye.